the Big Five in two dimensions for grade 12 students. It's almost identical to the last video, the Big Five for grade 11. Just at the end, the math for adding the vectors is going to be a tiny bit more complicated, and we reserve that for grade 12. So basically, it's the exact same thing. So take a second, read, read the question, and fill in your own givens, please. Okay, so you've read the question and you've written in your own givens. Hopefully you saw that the initial velocity of the electron was 20 meters per second. I believe it's northeast. We don't know the velocity it has when it leaves. Its acceleration is 4,000 meters per second squared south. A big number, but an electron has very small mass. So it's not hard to get it accelerated at a very high rate. And we do not know the displacement, but we do know that it's 10 ms. Now, if you're one of my students, you will put up your hand and say, shouldn't that be meters per second? But of course, you know it shouldn't be. Milliseconds is what the little m, of course, stands for. Thousandth of a second. So let's change that right now to 0 0.01 seconds so that we don't have to worry about it anymore or make any silly mistakes. For part A, we're trying to find the displacement. So we don't care about V2. We're going to use equation number 3, probably our most common equation. D equals V1T plus a half AT squared. Summing in, I see that 20 meters per second north 45 east times 0 0.01 seconds plus a half of 4,000 meters per second squared south times 0 0.01 squared um, seconds. Now let's simplify all this. Let's get rid of some of the units. We'll end up with 0.2. 0 0.2 meters per second squared north 45 east Plus, what's going to happen if I simplify all those things? I'll also end up with 0.2. Ah, excellent. 0.2 meters per second squared south. And again, at this point, I'm really done with physics. I've written my givens, I've picked the appropriate formula, I've dumped it in. Now it's just math. Of course, if you can't do the math, you're not going to get the right answer, and that's important in physics, so the math is certainly important. 0.2 plus 0.2 is sure as heck not going to be 0.4. There's a couple possibilities here. You could draw it like we did last time. You could say 0.2 northeast and then 0.2 south. And then we would expect the displacement to be there. I know this is 45 degrees. So I could go ahead and I could use the sine law or the cosine law. But when I see vectors that are not 90 degree angles, they're not a nice easy triangle, I just use components. So let's just do that. We've got 0.2 northeast. Well, that's going to give me an x component of 0.2 times the cos of 45 and a y component of 0.2 times the sine of 45, which are the same anyway, right? And they're both about 0.14, if I'm not mistaken. The y component is just straight down, 0.2, so the x component is 0, the y is negative 0.2. When I add these guys up to find my totals, I find the total x is 0.14, the total y is negative 0.06. All I'm doing now is adding these two vectors using the component method that we learned in school. So my x components, my y components, r is 0.14 squared plus 0.06 squared, square rooted, which turns out to be about 0.21. Of course I need the angle too, I've got 0.14 and I've got 0.06. So this angle theta is going to turn out to be the tan inverse of 0.06 over 0.1 which equals 22.5, if I'm not mistaken, 22.5 degrees. Now, I kept all that in my calculator when I actually worked it out, 
I didn't round, it's not actually 0.06, it's 0.058 or something, and it came out to be exactly 22.5 degrees. So, no problem, therefore, R, well, it's not really R, what are we finding here? We're finding the displacement. The resultant of all this is a displacement. So the displacement, therefore, of the electron is equal to 21 centimeters east, 22.5 south. And that's the answer to point A. Should I round that to 22 because I really technically only have two sig figs, I guess, 45 degrees? Yeah, maybe I should, who knows? I don't really care right now. I could have used the cosine law or the sine law and I would have got the exact same answer. For part B, they ask you for the final velocity of the electron and so we're gonna use the equation that doesn't have D, which is of course the first one, really, V2 equals V1 plus AT. I have nowhere really to write it. I can just do it a little bit here. I'm going to use this equation. I know V1. I know A. I'm going to get a new triangle. I'm going to do components again or cosine law, whatever. If I'm not mistaken, for your own benefit, the answer should work out to be 29 meters per second east 29 south. I'm going to get a different triangle because now I'm going to have V1 plus AT. The sizes are going to be different. The angle will be different. The final answer will be a little different. 